E C. Now the strange thing with this one is that I've found on the back of this label it actually gives the maximum output for the the um, ferrite transformer, the flyback. And that is, if I can get it in there properly, to uh, focus in, just there. 29 kV, how insane is that? I wouldn't expect that to be on the back of a monitor showing the uh, maximum output from the flyback. Now the phone doesn't want to focus in. What's wrong with you? Sorry about this guys. There we go. Now it's a shame that this one, when it does actually boot up, but unfortunately it doesn't arc out, it just goes straight into standby mode because it has to um, it has to get the, the sense trigger, you know, from the uh, the computer to actually turn itself on. Now I got these two monitors and a really nice large flyback on a board from a good friend of mine, uh, John Dragonman. Um, he does. He actually lives a 10 minute drive from here, from me, um, and he found me off FreeCycle, and he, I think, I think it was FreeCycle he found me on. I think it was him or it was somebody else, I can't remember, because uh, I've had quite a few people off FreeCycle who are actually on YouTube have found me that way and subscribed. And uh, he emailed me and uh, we met up last night and had a good chat and he's actually a really nice bloke. Um, so have a look at his, have a look on his channel anyway, anyway guys, uh, John Dragon Man, and uh, he's got some pretty uh, interesting stuff on his channel. See if you can subscribe to him as well. Give him some subscribe subscriptions because um, give him some sub subscribers, should I say? I can't even really say it was wrong with my jaw because uh, I don't think he's got very many. Bless him. And uh, <clears throat> but anyway, let me show you this flyback because it's absolutely. I thought I had a big one there, which I was showing Larry. Look at the size of this one. This is absolutely huge. Now putting this. I've got to actually desolder the board off the bottom of there yet, but no, it's actually the neck on that thing is a lot higher. The actual, you know, this is your windings inside the uh, epoxy just there. But it's very, very big. This, this kind of flyback is my favourite kind. You know, with the uh, the bolts go through down the side of the, the flybacks this is definitely my sort of flyback, these are my favourite, I love these sort can't wait to desolder it and give it more clean up take this bracket off, even though it looks quite good with the bracket on well, John, thanks ever so much for giving me these mate really nice of you to uh, go out your way and uh, meet up like that and have a good chat in your garage <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah what a beaut that is. Must have been out some very large TV. And that, speaking of flybacks, I had a, a comment on my, my video I did before I put this one up. And uh, a chat was on about, um, he had a friend who had an, I think it was an 80 inch CRT television. 80 inch? You are kidding me. I didn't even realise they went up that big. And he was on about that the the flyback in it was bigger than the one of the biggest mots, one of the large mots. OMG. Can you imagine the size of that flyback? I would give my I'd give my right nut for a flyback that big. It's like a it's, I mean at the minute I've got I'm you know I'm, I'm trying on pretty free cycle. I've put uh, I've actually made a webpage uh, a post up um, asking for anybody with rear projection TVs because the flybacks in them are quite large but out of an 80 inch CRT it's going to be absolutely huge can you imagine the arcs off one of them Jesus I wonder how many KV that is it's probably a 100 KV or something but anyway let's get back to this let me show the arcs off this bad boy this is mental See, because if you notice, I've, I've, not, I've not even, I can't, I'm stumbling over my bloody self here, because I'm that excited. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know I'm like with flybacks, but really love the things, don't know why, fetish, uh, pure porn. <laughs> but yeah, that's the, uh, let me get a torch, that's the flyback down there. You see my garage, it's an absolute tip at the minute. 
I'm sorting stuff out for the bloody tip to weigh this stuff in. Because I'm saving up my money now, you see, for when I uh, visit the warehouse, X-ray, X-ray warehouse. Now there's the flyback in that one, which is not a bad size. Yeah, these are both 14 inch, by the way, 14 inch monitors. This one's relatively clean. He was actually using this on his computer in his garage, and um, he just unplugged it and just gave it me. He said it's a good excuse now to get his flat screen out. <laughs> And there's the one in there. I've cleaned this one up. This one was a bit dirty, this one. But this one was just uh, storage. That one's got a relatively quite nice cap inside there. It's a shame I didn't, couldn't get this one arcing out. So I'll just have to, at some point, run it off uh, either a 5 timer, 555 timer, or a ZVS. One of the two, which one ever's easiest. Hey, don't we just love that sticker? That's the, one of the best stickers, that is. High voltage. Alright, show you this running then. I'll pause it and I'll get it on the tripod. Okay, we're on. <clears throat> right, I've got an earth, earth wire just here, guys, which is going straight to ground. There's me. And I'll show you this. It's, it's, it's actually quite a nice output out of this. It's the, um, you get quite a lot of corona. And um, you get the, uh, you know, the lightning sort of arc, that sharp arc. Right, here we go, guys. Plugged in. Oh, yeah, another comment on my videos. Um, something about, do you not ever wonder about getting an electric shock while you're on your own? Excuse me. I'm always tracing back my steps. I'm always one step behind, if you know what I mean. I'm always extremely careful. I'm always thinking of the what would happen if this happened or that happened. So I look around my area and I make sure I'm always really, really careful. At the end of the day, if I do get a shock, what I'm dealing with really isn't isn't lethal enough, if you know what I mean, because I never have two hands on anything. So if I'm ever doing anything, it's always one hand. Do you, know, do you understand what I mean? So I'm I'm always really really careful. The the arcs uh, the the electric shocks that I've had have just been little tiny things really. I've never really had an immense belt which has been life threatening. So but there we go guys. I'm going to say that now. I'm going to bloody uh, jinx myself. Into that. Got a lot of those going off this one. I don't think you can see that. That's about 20 kV, 15, 20 kV out of that. Put my heater on, hold on. Just unplug a minute. Now the tube itself has actually got a charge in it now. See if I can um, show you the. Can you hear that? There you go. That's the best way to do it. Get it in the hole, and always make sure you're at least two in two plus inches away from from that. Just put my heater on because I can see my breath. It's quite cold outside today. Jesus, it is cold. Is that still recording? Yeah, 10 minutes. Bloody hell. Sorry, guys. So now that I've done that, straight to earth, safe to touch it. I wouldn't, even though I've discharged that, I wouldn't want to put my finger inside there. 
That's one hole I don't want him. He's got no hair around it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. He's doing it again. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Let's show you some more of this, shall we? Because it is quite good fun. I do love some high voltage. I do love it, guys. It's fucking awesome. <clears throat> Sorry. I know. I'm a bit weird. Is that the right one? Yep, it is. I didn't know which one it plugged one. How many bloody black black pull plugs? Yeah, let me show you that again. Let's charge that up. Switch it off. Come out of the way, you. Can you hear that? I'll show you the output when this is in. I don't know if it'll lock out. Where's that bloody thing gone? Let's just get that in there a little bit. Just enough to make an arc. Plug it in. I'll use this one because it's bit better and it's out of the way. Insane. Go on, give me a comment. Is that screwdriver rated for 25,000 volts? Bloody bugger off. Do you know how long I've been doing this? I used to I used to be a bloody television repairman bloody years ago and the amount of fun we used to have in the bloody workshop with people's TVs, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> that was in the nineties. Very early nineties. Then I started doing then I went to work uh, doing engineering apprentice. <clears throat> Let's have some more fun with this. And then we'll uh, I'll let you go, guys. I'm glad you lot liked the, um, you know, the high power voltage line thing. What I was on about that I did the video of project power line. <laughs> it is going to be pretty cool. That is outside. Certainly a lot better off camera. Put it that way. Corona. Oh, it's a There we go, guys. Whew, stinks a bit. Bloody ozone's intense. <clears throat> By the way, guys, um, there was one of uh, there was another comment about uh, the uh, little tiny fan in the uh, back of the shed, uh, back of the work shed at the back there. It's not big enough. I've actually got a bigger fan which is at the bottom. And it goes all the way outside. So uh, don't worry, guys. So. <clears throat> Oh my god, 15 minutes, I do apologise guys, you're obviously all twisting yourselves now, thinking, come on Ant, I do apologise. So, <clears throat> I 
how you doing? <clears throat> I've nearly got 2,000 subscribers. I would not believe I would ever get 2,000 subscribers. That is in that is intense, epic, pure epicness. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys. <clears throat> Thanks for watching the videos, guys. Um, thank you for all your great comments, support, subscribing. It just makes the whole experience that bit better, knowing I've got you guys watching my videos, enjoying them, you know, giving your comments, ideas, um, you know, it's it's just fantastic, guys. I can't believe it. It's brilliant, and uh, you know, I do try to bring us the best enjoyment to you guys. Um, I do try to, uh, you know, make you guys and be able to leave a video from watching it and think that was pretty good I enjoyed that one that was good yeah not bad at all no that was shit <laughs> it's up to you it's your it's you know I don't mind whatever you, you you do guys whether it's a thumb up a thumb down a bad comment um you know it's it's all welcome anyway take good care of yourselves whatever you're doing please be careful and uh hopefully we'll speak again look after yourself guys <laughs>